Hi everyone, I'm Lara from GoSimplyTotsie and today I have an intense hit cardio workout for you. You don't need any equipment, I've got both the warm up and the cool down included. So grab your running shoes and let's get started. Okay, I've got my timer ready here. We're starting with our warm up. Our first move is going to be a squat with a push pull. So feet shoulder distance apart, just squat down and then pull your shoulder blades together behind you. Push out in front, squeeze behind. So we have six warm up exercises here. They are 30 seconds a piece. And then we'll get right into our workout. Um, it's a pretty intense HET workout. You don't need any equipment. It's all sort of jumping ballistic type movements. Okay, next we're into just a high knee march here. Uh, so we're going to be doing six groups when we get to the HIT section. Um, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest. Sorry, my brain is just not focused at the moment. Uh, so yeah, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds rest in an A, B, A, B pattern. So it's 12 exercises, but because we're doing them in groups of two, we have six groups. So again, just marching nice and high here. Now we're doing a torso rotation with a knee. So it's just like we're bringing knee up to elbow here. Get that middle warmed up. So we're going to be done this workout in less than 20 minutes, and that includes a warm-up and a cool down. But because these are all pretty intense hit um, exercises, we are going to burn a lot of calories. Okay, we're doing a boxer shuffle here. Make sure you move your arms a little bit. I know you feel silly, but having them just sort of hang here doesn't warm them up at all. Okay. If I ever forget to cue you, look to the left hand corner of your screen and there'll be a preview window that tells you in words what is up next as well as a little video picture. Next up we have an alternating side lunge. So we're just gonna drop to one side and then drop to the other. Then we only have one more warm up move. So if you've been sitting still for a really long time, you may feel like you need a little bit more and that's fine. You can add some extra running on the spot or some alternating lunges or something like that. So next up we're going to do a fly jack. Just bring your feet together in the center and open those arms up to the side. Just 10 more seconds. Make sure you've got a water bottle nearby and then come on back and we'll start the hit. Okay, hopefully you're all ready to go. We're starting with a star jump and then a reverse lunge to sort of pair it up together a bit. So we're going to do star jump and then one reverse lunge, star jump and reverse lunge on the other leg. So again, these are 20 seconds on with a 10 second rest. So at least those intervals go by very quickly. Okay, so for your rest, you're either doing a boxer shuffle or a high knee march, but like really move that march. Okay, it's up to you. Next up is a side lunge pop. So you're gonna go side and then switch. and really bring that knee up and you sort of pop up to the side. So this is great because one foot is always on the ground. Okay, your break. Now we're going back to that star jump with a reverse lunge. All of these can be made low impact. Instead of jumping for your star jump, you can just sort of go up on one leg and then back. So, if you need a less intense version, feel free to do that. 
Better to lower the intensity and keep moving than to stop. Okay, you break, and we go back to that side lunge pop. Okay, so lunge, pop, and then slide to the other side. And I don't know about you, but I am already breathing hard. That's good, our heart rates are up. The blood is pumping through our bodies. And we finished one group, five to go. Next up we have a jumping lunge. <clears throat> if you want a low impact, just walk an alternating lunge. Ten more seconds. Take your break. We're going to do a plank jack, so getting down on the ground. Okay, high plank. And jump those feet in and out like a jumping jack. Well, the upper body holds you in place. Try to have good alignment throughout your back if you can. Awesome, hop back up, take your break and go back into jumping lunges again. So again, you could always walk them if you don't want the impact. If you have bad knees, or if you're in an apartment and neighbors below don't like any noise, there are always options. You just have to be creative. Okay, next up we have plank jack. So come on down. Even here, you can walk your feet out instead of jumping them for that low impact version. And then if you have the energy and the strength, jump it in and out. Awesome, that is two groups down. This workout is flying by. We're a third way through the hit already. Next is a high knee hold. So one, two, hold. Really try to get those knees up high. burpees. I'll be honest, I don't like burpees at all, but they're an excellent exercise for the whole body. So again, jump out to a plank, and then jump up in a vertical jump. You can walk your way through this, walk one leg out and the other leg out, and then just go up and do a toe raise. I'll show that next time around for you. And the high knee hold could be a fast march and then hold on one leg. So you could go one, two, hold, okay? Or jump it. Take that break and I'll show you how to walk through that burpee in case you don't want to jump. Okay, so you could walk and then toe raise. Or you can jump it. Or you can mix it up. Some jump, some walk. Way already. Okay, lateral jumps are next. I'm gonna go to the side here. So we're just jumping as far as we can side to side. Again, you could just walk this side to side if you need to, just stay really low and work those quads. 
and then jump it if you can. Awesome. Next up we have a pop squat. Okay, so down and jump the feet together. It is starting to warm up here in Canada. We are into spring. So now these lights are starting to make me feel very hot. I love them in the winter because they made me warm. Take your break, but now it's starting to feel a little sweaty in here. Okay, lateral jumps. Remember your low impact modification? Awesome, and then we have pop squats. You can always just do a regular squat without the jump if you want a low impact. So like this, and come together like that, okay? But if you want to really tax those legs, put the jump in. Awesome. Now we're going to do a side hopping squat. So those feet are going to sort of stay in a squat position and we're going to hop, hop, hop. So it's like a shuffle, but our feet are lifting at the same time. It's a bit, but those quads really burn. Okay, rest, and then we're gonna do a runner. So we stay on one leg for this. It's already a low impact move. So it's really just bringing that knee up again and again. And we're gonna stay on this left leg the whole time. And the next time we'll do the other leg. Almost done. Okay, good, take that break. Back to that side hop squat. You can just walk to the side. I'll show you that if you need a low impact. So you can just walk. And that'll really burn the quads. Or if you can, jump it. You feel a bit silly. <laughs> Okay, take your break. Now we're gonna do the runner on the right leg. So the right leg is pumping back and forth. And it's just over and over again. You got a burnout move. Hold your abs in tight. Well past halfway. Awesome. Now we're doing a power skip lunge. Again, we'll start on the left side. Now lunge back and skip up. For a low impact modification, instead of jumping, just come up into a toe raise. Okay? So as you can see, this whole workout can be modified. Excellent. Now we just have a regular old jumping jack. And you can do a walking jack if you need low impact. This is our last group. So we'll do one more round of the power skip and one more round of jumping jacks and then we'll be cooling down already. Awesome, take your break. Do that power skip on the other side. Remember, you can just come up into a toe raise for that low impact, okay?
Last 20 seconds of hard work coming out and we're back to those jumping jacks. Keep pushing, only five more seconds. Awesome job. We're going to go straight into the cool down here with a march in place. So we're done. All the hard work is done. We're doing 30 seconds a piece for these cool down. After this, it's all stretches, just this march in place to bring the heart rate down. Um, and you're done. You did it. This is the easy part to say thank you for your muscle to your muscles for working so hard. So next up, we're going to do a quad stretch. Doesn't matter which leg you start with. I'm going to start with my left, but we will do the other side as well. So doesn't matter which one. I always feel really good when I finish. My mood gets this big lift. I'm really proud of myself. I feel strong. It doesn't necessarily last all day. It depends how my kids are on any given day. Okay, switch sides. It's amazing how much the moods of your children and your significant other can really affect your mood. So even if your day started out fabulous, but your kids are going crazy or they're sad or and you sort of take that on it's really hard not to okay after this we're going to do a standing hip flexor stretch again doesn't matter which leg you start on because we're going to do both I'm going to start by stretching out my left side here so just roll that hip under so you really feel the stretch down the front of the leg there I'm just sweating. I find the 20 minute workout perfect. Just like I can find 20 minutes in my day. An hour sometimes is really, really hard. But uh, 20 minutes I can do. I can find that. And then I just try to do something else later in the day. Um, bringing my kids out for a bike ride or bring them, we have a trampoline in our yard, so getting on the trampoline for a bit, that's really fun, and it doesn't hurt your joints at all, it's really great. Just make sure to do your Kegels, especially if you've had children. <laughs> if you've had children, you know what I'm talking about, I don't need to give any more details. <laughs> so next up, we're going to get down on the ground and do a butterfly stretch. So hop down, soles of the feet together, hold on to those toes and lean in, push those Try to get those knees to push down at the side and lean into it. Really open up the inside thighs there into the groin. And next up is a toe touch. So we're going to put those legs long out in front of us. And then if you can, hold on to those toes. If you're not quite there yet, However far down you can reach. If you're just on sort of your shin here, that's totally fine. The more you do this stretch, the further you'll be able to go. Okay, and after this we have one more stretch and we're just going to do a nice full body stretch. So come on down on your back and just stretch, you know, sort of alternate pulling, you know, arm and leg at the same time and really sort of feel a stretch on one side of the body and then the other. Oh, and then you can relax for a minute if you want and then start again. It just feels really nice. Great job, everyone. Thank you for joining me today. That was a really intense hit. You've given your body an excellent workout. Come on back again and check out some of my other workouts. Thanks so much.